everybody, Sarah with Supermom Shuffle. I wanted to jump on today and do our live unboxing for the February box. Um, I'm so excited. This has been my favorite one yet, and I know I say that every time. Um, it's still true, and it probably will be even more true next month, but um, I think everybody, from what I checked online, everybody has theirs now, so I wanted to go ahead and just unbox together, explain what all is in the box this month, and answer any questions anybody may have, and then we'll just go from there. So first, let's, I always like to start with the calendar. Let's do that. So first things first, you've got your February calendar. Um, it's just printed on a piece of cardstock. It's got all the fun holidays for February. Um, heads up for tomorrow is the Lunar New Year for Chinese New Year. So that would be a super fun holiday. You could have a second New Year's Eve at your house. That might be a fun way to celebrate. And there's all the other fun ones on here too. That's in every month's box. You have your little printable this month. <clears throat> is the Home Speed Cleaning Checklist and it is laminated. Ooh, I just lost my lights. In the house. There we go. Um, it's laminated and it's got a expo marker that came with it and it's just something you can keep handy um it's something that i made maybe like a year or so ago back and it's just it helps you just get a quick handle on the house if you've just got a couple hours and the house is just out of control and i mean i know sometimes even a couple hours is a total luxury to have to clean but if you just have a little bit of time um you know just do a couple things on the list and try to get you know some forward movement and get the house clutter under control a little bit and this is something i use especially when things have gotten out of hand <laughs> and i need to get everything back under control in a reasonable amount of time so i hope that it's as helpful for you guys as it is for me um and it kind of gives you an idea of how much time to take so you don't get lost in um in all the the tasks that you have to do i set timers for the different times so like for 15 minutes if i'm um gonna be vacuuming or 15 minutes if i'm gonna be switching the laundry so i don't have a squirrel moment and start reorganizing the laundry room when I'm supposed to be changing laundry because that happens to me from time to time. Um, next up, let's do, let's do the cookbook. So the cookbook this month is chocolate recipes. Um, and it turned out to probably be a pretty good diet plan for me because after you make 12 chocolate recipes and taste them all and photograph them all and actually bake them all, you don't want as much chocolate after that. So <laughs> it may work out well for me. We'll see. Um, but it's got lots of fun things. I tried to mix it up. Um, it's not just all cake. There's candies. There's um, the truffles were super easy. If you need an easy, quick Valentine's Day thing, the truffles were crazy easy to do. Um, but there's hot fudge sauce. There's a mocha in there. There's a couple cakes. There's a crock pot cake that was really good. Um, and all chocolate. And I just, it was super fun to make. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it. Pick a couple things and try it this month for sure. But not just for February, try it anytime. The next thing up is the book. So, I Mom So Hard. I don't know if you have seen any of their YouTube videos, but these two are hilarious. And I always laugh at their YouTube videos. I always laugh at all their stuff. And this book is hysterical and it's short little chapters so it's easy to read um and it's some from it's Kristen Hensley and Jen Smedley are the authors and so some of the chapters are from Kristen some of the chapters are from Jen they're all hysterical I really enjoyed it I had read it a while back and I knew when I saw it available that I was going to definitely include it in a super mom box at some point and it actually was going to be in the January box but with the United States Postal Service and all their issues it did not make it in time so it was perfect in the February box. Let's see. The Bath and Body Works Foaming Hand Soap. Some of you got Black Cherry Merlot and some of you got a Peach Bellini smell. Either way, they both smell delightful. Um, and I figure we still can't have enough soap at our houses right now. And I mean, I just, I love their soap. I always have. And I figured if it could be soap that's a little more fun and smells yummy at the same time, why not? Let's see. Next up. Oh, the bath salts. These came in sets. So everybody got different smells. There were six different ones. This one is the Himalayan sea salt. I have used it. It actually smells really good. Um, some of them were, I think there was, let's see, there was lavender, there was eucalyptus, there was coconut. One was unscented and I think one was 
chamomile, I want to say, the relaxed one. Um, they all smelled really good. They all smelled really good in the box together. So whichever one you got, I hope that you are going to take a nice big bubble bath and put that in there and help let it help you out. We all should. I mean, bubble baths are super fun anyway, so we should definitely add that into the mix. Okay, next we have the super fuzzy socks. Um, I've been wearing a pair of these for about a month now that I use when I'm down here working early in the morning when it's cold and I put them on and they keep my feet so warm and they're so comfy and cozy and soft. Um, and I really like them. I hope you guys are liking them too. Again, they were mixed colors. You probably got pink, purple, white, something like that. Um, but they were all super, super cute. So soft too. I really liked them. Um, you got a Ghirardelli chocolate. That was just for me. That wasn't on your list. That was just Happy Valentine's Day from Super Mom Shuffle. It's chocolate and caramel. They're, you can't go wrong with a Ghirardelli chocolate. They're so good. Um, this is my favorite thing that's in the whole box. And this is the Color Street nail polish strips. And I, I think my aunt got me these for my birthday last year was how I learned about them. And I am not one to have painted nails, manicured nails. That's not me. I mean, I have to... You know I'm keeping up with little kids and so I'm not gonna be I'm washing my hands a million times a day I don't have time to go get a manicure that's just you know generally not me but these guys are real nail polish strips and so um, I actually think I'll probably do I'm gonna when I'm done here I'm gonna log off and do an actual video I took my nail polish off yesterday so that I can put some do a video of me putting this on so you can see how to do it um, if you don't want to wait for that the actual website where you can get these is colorstreet.com and there's videos on that website of how to do this stuff um, and how to put them on it couldn't be easier if I can do it literally anybody can do it trust me on that um, but they're super fun so some you got pink red somewhere in there um, you can only get a certain amount of certain shades when you order so everybody got a valentine's -y pinkish reddish something um, but all you do is um, it's got the nail file in it that you need and it's got um, it's got a little alcohol cleaning pad to get your fingers clean and that's all you need you open it up and you just like you literally peel the peel the strip off put it on your nail trim it up file it off good to go and it's not I mean it's not wet when you put it on it's not totally dry either um, you probably I mean it's a little tacky and you wouldn't want to go you know folding laundry or anything like that immediately after you do it um, for like an hour or so my favorite way to do it is I'll do it after the kids go to bed and I'll just put on some kind of movie probably a Hallmark movie because we all know I love a Hallmark movie um, but I just put on a movie and so I'll go ahead and put those on first and then just sit and finish the movie and then go to bed and it's by the time you've done all that it's pretty dry um, you can totally put a clear coat over them if you want to um, it's not going to hurt a thing if you want to keep them from chipping a little bit longer um, if you have little short nails this has actually got two strips of I want to say eight yeah two strips of eight if you have short nails like me that will get you two manicures if you have long nails it's probably only going to get you one and like I said you can look on Pinterest for the Color Street Nails um, for instructions, their website, and then I'll do a video later today or tomorrow um, to get you some, some help on that. Um, in the box, there was also a card attached to these that was a business card of the lady that actually sells these. I don't sell these, but um, Michelle does, and so her information was in the attached to this and then she had sent on her own attached to her business card was a little set of sparkly nails that if you wanted to do an accent nail or something like a lot of times I'll do all the same and then do like a different nail on my ring finger and so if you wanted to try that or just try a different color altogether she sent some sparkly nails for you guys um, as just a gift from her so if you want more um, I believe you can just shop at the site on your own but I mean if you go through Michelle she probably has some better deals and stuff like that and um, you know she's super easy to work with and super great and she does not bother you and bug you to have a party or anything like that not at all um, she's so so great too because I mean this is they do sell these and have like parties you can host and stuff for them but that's not I've never done any of that I just go online and order from Michelle and um, I really enjoy them though and I think it just helps me feel a little bit especially this year it just it was something you could do for yourself to just feel like a little bit better a little bit fancier and I just for some reason I just I feel a lot more together if I have my nails done and this is an easy way that I can do that so anyway that was my most favorite thing that I was so excited about for this month 
let me double check my list to make sure that was everything because there was kind of bigger stuff this month in there. Let's see, we did the calendar, the checklist, the socks, the salt, the soap. The book. Okay, yeah, I think that's it except for the notebook. So a couple quick things on the notebook. So you, if you were a first time customer, you got your notebook and then you got the stuff that goes in it. If you were a renewing customer, you just got the stuff that goes in it. And so it's all in keeping with the February theme. All you need is love. And it's got all kinds of great stuff in there. And I'll go over that in a minute. But um, in the meantime, I've had tons of people request and I sent out to most of the customers to see what their preference were. Um, and, and a lot of people have requested that because this is a five and a half by eight and a half. And so everything's on the little pages and it's a handy size binder to have. But when you start trying to make notes or if you start trying to use the calendar, it's just not as convenient a size as a regular eight and a half by 11 would be. So I had sent out a survey to the customers to see, um, you know, which would you prefer? Do you prefer this? Or what if you got each month just a spiral bound notebook that's each individual month will be each individual month's notebook. There's nothing to ever add to it or anything like that. Um, just a spiral bound workbook notebook um, each month and the was, response was overwhelming that yes we want that and we want the eight and a half by eleven size so we are making a change this next month so this will be the last small ones and then going forward you'll be getting an eight and a half by eleven it'll be spiral bound um, similar to the cookbook um, but it'll actually be through a spiral binder so it won't be the comb binding it'll actually be spirals um, so you'll get that cookbook will still be the same size it'll still be bound just the same and then you'll be getting your super mom sanity saver notebook each month in the spiral bound workbook and that will allow me there's a lot more planning pages I can put in here there's a lot more calendar pages I can put in here if I have an actual eight and a half by eleven to work with so I think that's gonna actually benefit everybody uh, I think everybody's gonna really really like it you are also getting an electronic copy of the e-box now so everything that you get that's a printable anything that's in the notebook and the cookbook all come to you digitally as well so if you just love this size and you don't necessarily want the eight and a half by 11 as much, I can't, I can't do both because that would be a packing nightmare, but you can always print out on the smaller sheets. You can just say print two per page and that would get you the half size that you need. And then you can just cut them in half and put them in your notebook if you really love your notebook. So that's an easy solution there. Um, so that, that change will come in the March boxes that go out on March 4th. And while we're on that subject, I'm super excited about the March boxes. We uh, went ahead and announced the theme this week, and it's called It Is Easy Being Green. And we're going to take the March, I mean, green, I always think of St. Patrick's Day for March anyway. And I just, I kind of had green on the brain um, for the next month's box. And so I finally decided, well, let's just run with that. Um, and the theme is going to be It Is Easy Being Green. And it's going to be all tips and helpful hints and um, just lots of information about easy ways that you can be a little bit greener in your own household, um, different substitutions you can make, and then the box will all revolve around things that are green, reusable things, um, things that are a little bit better for the environment. So I'm super excited. I just got the orders in this week for all of the the products and it's it's really really good I'm really I think you're gonna be thrilled with it um, I can just go ahead and tell you it's my favorite one yet because <laughs> I say that every time um, but it really is I love this one coming up um, so uh, anyway that's just a couple housekeeping items that I wanted to get through that just we're changing the notebook up a little bit it'll even still have the dividers and everything it's just gonna be a little bit bigger so you can use it a little bit easier um, and then the next mo next month's box um, so back to the actual notebook for this month. The theme is all you need is love. You've got your mommy theme, or I'm sorry, your mommy theme, your mommy section to start out with. And it is a lot about self-love and self-care. As usual, we usually put some stuff in like that. And so it's got a big section about the five doctors you need to see each each year to take good care of yourself and it's got some health tracking trackers that you can print off and use in there I mean some are already printed off in the notebook but the electronic copy you've got more if you need more um, and it just goes on to talk about just things you should be doing to ensure your own health and to make sure you're taking as good of care of yourself as you can so that you can take as good care of your family as you can and then the family section has all the usual suspects it's got the 
conversation starters. I, those seem to be a huge hit for everybody. Everybody loves the conversation starters. Um, lots of people have messaged me and said they just kind of keep their notebook handy at the dinner table and they use it. Um, other people do the page that's the cutout and they'll cut them out, put them in a jar. You know, the kids shake them up, pick one out for the night and that's what they talk about at the dinner table. Those seem to be a huge, huge hit. Something, you know, super fun and just, it gets the conversation flowing and sometimes you need that. Um, it's got, as usual, it's got game night ideas, weekend activity list, theme night suggestions, movie night ideas, baking ideas, craft ideas. I've listed all the things and if it's something very specific that's not necessarily my own idea, um, for example, like on the baking list, or even on the craft list, um, you know, something that's very specific, like um, toilet paper, Valentine, card, painting. If it's not my idea, I don't want to link to somebody else's stuff that's not mine and try and take credit for it. So if it's anything that's not specific that you don't know how to do, look on Pinterest or Google it and just go ahead and find it there. That way I'm not infringing on anybody's material and then you know where to find the stuff if you need it. Um, so any of that stuff, any of the games that don't readily sound like something you know how to play or not like your usual run of the mill Uno or Candyland or things like that, just Google what I've put in there and that should get you some super ideas to, to go with it. Um, for the organizing section, we had, um, you know, your usual, you've got your menu plans and everything. And it's got the four weeks worth of menus. It's got the grocery list to go with it. As always, the grocery list is um, coded to where it's got in parentheses behind the grocery item. It's got which meal it goes with. So it's pretty easy if you don't want to make a meal or skip out on a meal or something like that. You can just mark off those grocery items really quickly for the ones you don't need. And that helps make grocery shopping a little bit quicker. And we all can use that for sure. Um, and then also in that section, there was, since the printout was pertaining to organizing, there was not as much in the organizing section as usual. Um, but the thing that I did put in there was my, one of my favorite um, little printables that I have, and it's 30 cheap and inexpensive meals. And then it also had a second page in there on how to remake your leftovers, how to, and just, you know, how to stretch the food a little bit longer. Everybody needs to save a little money right now. So um, there's just some really quick suggestions and easy suggestions on how to make, you know, maybe cook once and eat twice, what to do with your leftovers, um, you know, on have your meal on day one, and then what to do with your leftovers on day number two. Too. And that's just a little something that's helpful that everybody can use. I know we're the worst about leftovers here. Um, I always joke if it gets put in the leftover drawer, it's where food goes to die at our house. <laughs> so um, in effort for my own self to try and do a little better too, I wanted to, to get that out where I could see it. And I thought, well, if I need it, you guys might need it too. So I wanted to just go ahead and include that in your notebook this month. Um, for date night, I can put the notebook down now. Um, for the date night, I put in all the information for like a romantic at home Valentine's date night because as we know, we're still, you know, things are still not great with the pandemic and it's still probably not super safe to go out to eat. And so I wanted to give you ideas for how you could make your, your date work from home. And so I put in a steakhouse menu. Um, you could totally order out food as well and just have it delivered. Um, steakhouse menu is actually relatively easy to make. Um, especially the actual steaks. So, you know, if you want to save some money on not having a hugely expensive dinner delivered, it's not so not so hard to make the steakhouse dinner at home. And they're pretty delicious. And if I can make the steak pretty good, you can definitely do it yourself. Trust me, because I'm not always the handiest as far as that kind of thing is concerned. Um, and so I have full confidence that if I can do it, you can do it too. Um, but it's just got some ideas. It's got, you know, it's got ideas for the dinner. It's got tips and tricks on how to make it extra special at home. It's got, um, it's got a movie list suggestion if you want to watch a movie after your dinner. Uh, just anything that, you know, you can do to be creative for a date night at home. We've got to get creative these days if we can't go out for date nights. So I hope that helps a little bit and makes for a fun night for sure. And then the last section is your calendar section. And as usual, that's got a blank calendar you can use. It's got a calendar filled out for the month of February that just has the dates on it. And then it's got all your fun holidays for stuff that you can um, celebrate and different suggestions for ways to celebrate it. So like I said, tomorrow is the Chinese New Year. Um, I think there was a couple other fun ones in there. Um, National Monday is National Gumdrop Day. I thought that was super fun. Not so much if you want 
to uh, eat gumdrops because who wants, bleh, nobody wants to eat gumdrops. But there are so many cute ideas on Pinterest on um, how to do gumdrop crafts. Like you can get toothpicks and gumdrops and make little gumdrop houses um, or have little construction competitions with your kids. Uh, there were so many cute things. And there's lots of, of course, cute like counting games and math games and things you can do like that as well. But I really liked the... Um, the, the little house construction idea. So, I mean, it's kind of like making a gingerbread house, except you're making it with toothpicks and gumdrops, and it's super, super cute. I knew there was another holiday I wanted to mention because it was, I knew that was something that would be fun. A lot of people are off Monday because it's President's Day. So, take a look at that calendar, and, you know, that'll give you a little, sorry, my phone is ringing in my ear. Um, but anyway, so that's the February box, and, um, I, like I said, I've been super thrilled with it. Uh, so far, the reviews from everybody that's gotten it have been super happy. So I hope that you love it. Um, if you have any questions, as always, um, you know, just let me know. And um, otherwise, I will be back with you next month to do our next month's unboxing. Um, we'll do a couple lives in the in the Facebook group. If you're a member of, or if you're a subscribing member of Super Mom Shuffle, we have a private Facebook group. So we'll do some more lives in there. Um, but as for actual just Super Mom Shuffle Box, I'll see you next month. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.